Hey everybody, welcome back to Royal Tarot Readings. This is my fun channel that I do for tarot readings on the royal family. All information presented in this video is for fun and entertainment purposes only. It's fun, it's tarot. I'm just a gal with cards. All right, so today I would like to take a look at um, this, this seemingly alignment between the Kardashians and Meghan Markle. Um, we're hearing all kinds of rumors about them aligning together to do business deals together. Um, not sure exactly what's going on, so let's take a look at this. Um, it's funny, um, I never really um, really approved too much of Kim Kardashian, but I have to admit that she is a, she's pretty smart. I mean, she seems to be pretty smart. She knows how to get ahead. She knows how to make money. Um, even though I don't like the way she does it, I mean, she, she's, you know, she knows how to market herself. So with that in mind, with her being smart, what the heck is she doing aligning herself with Meghan Markle? I mean, my goodness. So just my opinion. But let's take a look, see what we can find out. All right, so today I would like to use the Villains Disney Tarot deck. Cute little deck. It has all kinds of um, nice characters, mostly um, the Disney villains. So let's see what this deck has to tell us. All right, so I have some questions I would like to ask. Let me get my questions out so I can see them. There we go. All right, let's begin. So why are the Kardashians aligning themselves with Meghan Markle? Why are they doing that? Oh, oh the five of coins is being cut out. <laughs> Boy, okay, that's the pentacles. Um, and what... What do the Kardashians hope to gain by aligning themselves with Meghan Markle? And are they financing her in any way? Are they actually providing her with money? And um, does whatever deal they have going on... Oh, the star. <laughs> Hopes. Um, whatever deals they have going on, does any of it include Harry? There was a blind item today about um, that the illiterate one is having all these deals and none of it includes Harry. So, allegedly, do any of the deals include Harry? And what does Kim Kardashian think of Meghan Markle? What does she actually think of Meghan Markle? That was a strength card, which seems to be the Leo card. Whoops. So, what does Kim Kardashian think of Meghan Markle? And... What does Meghan Markle think of Kim Kardashian? What does Meghan Markle think of Kim Kardashian? And finally, how is this all going to turn out? This alignment that uh, the Kardashians and Meghan Markle seem to have, how is it all going to turn out in the end? All right, so just a whoops, small little reading. I believe I have seven questions. All right, we're going to go with this one. Go ahead and cut. There we go. All right. These cards are smaller than the ones I'm used to. They feel kind of funny. <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> seven questions. Let's see what we got here. So, I can do that without tipping over my camera. Okay. And the underlying energy is ooh, the Page of Coins, which is a Page of Pentacles. Ooh, and the Ten of Swords. Oh, and the Magician. Okay, wow. Okay. All right. So the Page of Coins is the Page of Pentacles. So this is about um, this is about trying to sell you an idea, sell you um, you know, trying to trying to um, oh, what's the word for it? Um, you're kind of peddling your wares. You know, trying to trying to sell an idea for a money making idea. And then the Ten of Swords is about complete ruin and backstabbing. And the Magician is tricks and secrets and trying to manifest. Oh, gosh. Okay. So this is trying to manifest this idea of uh, a, a new way of making money. But there's some... Um, is it's going to be involved with total ruin? Wow, what interesting underlying energy! All right, so why are the Kardashians aligning themselves with Meghan Markle? The 
Ace of Cups? A romance? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is about love and romance and it could be fertility, it could be pregnancy, but wow. What has this got to do with love? Do they love the idea that she's come up with? Or do they love the idea of stabbing her in the back? <laughs> oh my gosh. Are they luring her into a trap? Of course, that would be the Eight of Swords, but this is about um, trickery and manifestation and uh, it, it luring someone in. Oh my. Oh, how interesting. So do they love the idea of setting her up? Oh, my. I should have asked another question. I may have to. Okay. All right. So what What does Kim, or What do the Kardashians hope to gain in all this? What do they hope to gain? The Four of Coins, a treasure chest. <laughs> so the Four of Coins is about keeping your money. Uh, it's the Four of Pentacles, keeping your money um, close to you. Um, trying to make sure you're protecting your wealth. They hope to gain the protection of their wealth. Okay, so they, they want to protect their wealth. So they uh, there's this new idea that is this, um, not merching, but this trying to sell you an idea of a way to make money. But there's some, there's some treachery going on there. It's going to lead to total ruin. Through tricks and traps. What do they hope to gain? Are they going to try to ruin her financially? Oh my. This is about protecting their own money while making her lose hers. Wow. Um, okay. That's very interesting. Okay. Are the Kardashians financing, financing Meghan Markle in any way? The three of coins. Three of pentacles. There is an agreement. There is a financial agreement going on here. But I don't think they're financed. I think it's it's um, more in the uh, way of a loan. I mean, there's teamwork here. But I think they're maybe loaning her money rather than giving her money. That would have been the six of pentacles. So here's... um. This is a financial agreement that they've made. Three of them. A financial agreement to try to get this idea off the ground. Whoops. Um, but it involves treachery and ruin. And it's all a trick. Is this a trick to make them money and to make her lose her money? Wow. Look how many look how many pentacles we have here. Wow. So are they financing her in any way? Um, only in that there's some kind of uh, there's some kind of agreement. There's a, a contract between them. So it's not where they're giving her money. It's just they've they've entered into a contract. They have. Um, and does do any of the deals involve Harry? Oh my god, there's Harry right there. <laughs> um I guess they do. Do any of the deals involve Harry? And there he is. I, I guess it, it does involve him. So, um, but they're keeping it quiet. They're keeping it secret. Ooh. So they've come up with an idea of how to make money, but there's treachery involved. And they're keeping it secret that Harry's in it too. Oh, Wow. I guess our blind item is incorrect because Harry is involved in it. They're just trying to keep it secret. They're trying to make sure that nobody knows about it. Okay. And then um, what does Kim Kardashian think of Meghan Markle? Oh, the Six of Cups in reverse. So the Six of Cups is about um, childhood and um, your past and... Um, it can be about children. It can be about siblings. And in reverse, she reminds her of someone. 
I think she reminds her of one of her sisters. But in a in a in a bad way, like she has the qualities of one of her sisters uh, with the bad qualities of one of her sisters. Oh, my. She makes her think about her childhood in a bad way. Oh, isn't that interesting? Okay, so um, she makes her think about the way that they used to think about money, about uh, making money, and it, it involves uh, it involves ruin and trickery. I think that she thinks of her as a very immature financial person that she doesn't know a lot about money and it will lean to her ruin and they're gonna they're gonna lure her down this path i think they have lured her into this thinking that she and harry are going to make a lot of money out of it and they they know that they're too inexperienced that the kardashians know that um markle is too inexperienced with money to make any kind of a success out of it So Kim looks at her almost like an inferior, inferior with money because she doesn't know anything about it. Wow. I just get the sense that they lured her into a trap. They're luring her to the, to the brink of ruin, to actual ruin. What does Meghan Markle think of Kim Kardashian? Oh, the three of wands in reverse. Okay, so the three of wands upright is about you were watching... And you're observing and you're um, waiting for your ship to come in. And in reverse, she's actually not looking to Kim Kardashian for any kind of guidance. She wants to do it by herself. She thinks that she knows it all. She's just latching on to the Kardashians for um, what they can do for her. Because she doesn't have any any other way to launch this idea or this this path of making money that she has, she's trying to sell them an idea. She's trying to sell them uh, this path to making money, but she really wants to do it alone. She only wants their money. That's going to lead her to total ruin. And it's uh, it's there's some secret. There there it's a, it's a lure. It's um. She wants their money. That's all she's in it for. So she's looking at uh, at Kim as uh, just a um, an avenue to, to launch an idea that she has, but she's not going to listen to anything they have to say. Wow. Yeah. Is it surpri surprising? No. <laughs> all right. And how is this all going to turn out? The Page of Wands. So again, looks so much juvenile energy. The Page of Wands is about just um, um, not knowing what you're doing, not knowing, uh, just being ignorant, being um, not observant, not understanding how things around you work. Because it's too it's too juvenile of an energy. It's like. Um, She's, she's moved into this world where you have to be an expert at things. You have to be a master at it, and she's not. How's it going to turn out? She's going to, she's wandered into this world where she's completely over her head, trying to sell this idea, and it's going to lead to her total ruin. And the magician's going to be just laughing and laughing about it because they lured her into it. Wow, how surprising. And and part of this juvenile energy of not knowing what they're doing involves Harry too. He's going to be key to this ruin because he's going to insist that his opinions be taken, his he wants to be listened to. And by doing that, it's, it's just going to it's going to blow the whole thing up. And Markle doesn't want to listen to anything anyone has to say. She wants to go it alone, even though she's entered a contract with them. 
and this um this childish energy that she has which is how kim looks at her almost like a child um that's why they're trying to protect their money but this love card is so interesting i think they love the idea of bringing her down oh my wow <laughs> well that didn't go as I, I didn't expect that my goodness all right let's do a wrap up here why are the kardashians aligning themselves with Meghan merkel because they love the idea of bringing her down. She's trying to sell this, sell them this idea, and they're like, "Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll bring you to total ruin, no problem." And we've got all the all the all the tools that we need to do that. We have. I should have asked if the royal family is is involved with this in any way. Wow. I wonder. Should I ask that? Let's let's see if we can clarify. Let's clarify. Um, Let's clarify here. Why um, is the royal family, did the royal family put the Kardashians up to this? Oh, was that the Nine of Wands? Hmm, well, let's see. Did the royal family, has the royal family in any way put the Kardashians up to this alignment with uh, Meghan Markle? All right, that one wanted to pop out. Nine of Wands again. Okay, all right, I gotta read it. All right, so the Nine of Wands. This is about putting up a barrier. Being um, being battered and bruised, and you, you're you you've got the but you've put up this barrier. I don't think that's answering my question. Oh, actually, it might be. If they are involved with it, they are so behind the shield. They put up a barrier to see any kind of connection between them. Oh my goodness. Is this is this something they've set up with the Kardashians to bring down the, the, Mer the Meghan Markle? Wow. I don't know. It's a possibility. All right. So why are the Kardashians aligning themselves with Meghan Markle? They love the idea of taking her down. And what are they hoping to gain? They're protecting their wealth. They're really not going to gain anything for themselves. They're just trying to bring her down. And are they financing her in any way? They've signed a contract. They've signed a contract with her, but it's all to their advantage, not to Markle's. And then is Harry involved in any way? Yeah, he is. Secretly, but he's involved. And then um, what does Kim Kardashian think of Meghan Markle? She said she's so, she is so immature and childish, especially when it comes to money. She doesn't know how money works. She doesn't know how how you make money and how you keep money. It's going to be her ruin, and they're going to they're just leading her down that path. And then, um, what does what does Meghan Markle think of Kim? She's just she thinks that she that she Meghan Markle knows it all, and she doesn't want to listen to anything she has to say. She doesn't want to listen to anything Kim has to say. She just wants her money. And then, um, how's it all going to turn out? It's, they don't, they, Merkel has no idea what she's doing. It's going to, it's going to be the ruin of herself and Harry. How's it going to turn out? They're going to, they're going to, they're going to be ruined. And the magician's going to laugh their way to the bank. Wow. All right. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did, please like and share. And if you are a subscriber, well, thank you so much. I love all my subscribers. And if you are not a subscriber, well, you need to subscribe. What you waiting for? You know you love my channel. You're always watching my videos. You might as well subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss another video. Thank you so much, everyone. Hope you have a great day. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.